Good afternoon. America this week faces an historic crisis in our financial system. We must pass legislation to address this crisis. If we do not, credit will dry up with devastating consequences for our economy. People will no longer be able to buy homes. Their life savings will be at stake. Businesses will not have enough money to pay their employees. If we do not act, every corner of our country will be impacted. We cannot allow this to happen. Last Friday, I laid out my proposal, and I've since discussed my priorities and concerns with the bill the administration has put forward. Senator Obama has expressed his priorities and concerns. This morning, I met with a group of economic advisors to talk about the proposal on the table and the steps that we should take going forward. I've also so spoken with members of Congress to hear their perspective. It has become clear that no consensus has developed to support the administration's proposal. I do not believe that the plan on the table will pass as it currently stands, and we are running out of time. Tomorrow morning, I'll suspend my campaign and return to Washington after speaking at the Clinton Global Initiative. I've spoken to Senator Obama and informed him of my decision, and I've asked him to join me. I'm calling on the President to convene a leadership meeting from both houses of Congress, including Senator Obama and myself. It's time for both parties to come together to solve this problem. We must meet as Americans, not as Democrats or Republicans, and we must meet until this crisis is resolved. I'm directing my campaign to work with the Obama campaign and the Commission on Presidential Debates to delay Friday night's debate until we have taken action to address this crisis. I'm confident that before the markets open on Monday, we can achieve consensus on legislation that will stabilize our financial markets, protect taxpayers and homeowners, and earn the confidence of the American people. All we must do to achieve this is temporarily set politics aside, and I am committed to doing so. Following September 11, our national leaders came together at a time of crisis. We must show that kind of patriotism now. Americans across our country lament the fact that partisan divisions in Washington have prevented us from addressing our national challenges. Now is our chance come together to prove that Washington is once again capable of leading this country. Thank you.